spousal permission for Viagra, criminalizing vasectomies and a 24-hour waiting period for porn. That's right. All three are included in a new proposal called the Testicular Bill of Rights. The bill would regulate a man's reproductive system, just like the abortion bill does for a woman's. It would put restrictions on men's access to Viagra and pornography, and that is just the beginning. To license it. Random radio special report. Oh, and, and this is special because you people are special. Uh, make sure you guys hit the bell so that you know when we have content. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You'll always know when we got stuff going on. This is ridiculous. Georgia, you know what? Queen, go ahead. What's going on in your mind is what I ask you. Yeah. But like, yo, yo, uh. you don't hear me though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need a Queen Latifah on this one. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to tell you right now. I told you all. I told you all years ago about putting them women in the positions of power. I told you all about this, right? I told you you shouldn't do this. You don't need to be in no legislative seats. I told you this. I told you this. Not because they're not they're not smart. You can't make decisions based off of your feelings. And the women do this. Maybe some maybe some logical women. Maybe some 60-year-old women who are out of menopause and I mean out of their periods and they're not going through menopause. Maybe they could do it. Give them a week off. So they can get their mind right. Democratic major- Minority Whip Darshan Kendrick. Why? Like, dude, what, why would your mother name you a name that makes you sound like a boy? Darshan. Darshan. The fuck? Anyway. She has announced her testicular bill of rights. Yes, she has. The Georgia lawmaker is proposing a law that would make it an aggravated assault for men to have sex without a condom. And would require men to obtain permission from their sexual partner before seeking a prescription of Viagra or similar erectile dysfunction drugs. I know you all don't believe me. Roll the footage. A Georgia lawmaker is hoping to spark a conversation, drafting a surprising piece of legislation. She's calling it the, t- the testicular bill of rights, a direct response to the anti-abortion bill known as the heartbeat bill currently making its way through the state house. Democratic Representative Darshan Kendrick posted about her proposal on Twitter. A picture shows a request for its drafting. The bill would require men to get permission from their sex partner before they can get a prescription for medications like Viagra. For men, having sex without a condom would become a sexual assault. They'd also have to wait 24 hours before buying pornographic material or sex toys in the state. DNA testing would be required once a pregnant woman reached six weeks in one day to find out who fathered an unborn child and require him to begin paying child support right away. It would also ban all vasectomies in the state, listing the same punishments as those in the anti-abortion bill. Finally, her bill would also introduce a 24-hour waiting period for men to buy any porn or sex toys in Georgia. How would this work with the gays? Why why would the gays be be, be persecuted because of this? How would this work for trans men? See, this is what happens when you you put the women in. They don't even think the things through. She highlighted the proposal during a radio interview on Georgia Public Broadcasting on Tuesday afternoon. If the state of Georgia is going to be concerned with regulating women's reproductive rights, I think it's only fitting that we also do that for men's reproductive rights. She said adding to her proposal, really, it's to draw attention to what I think is an absurdity. Oh, okay. Spousal permission for Viagra, criminalizing vasectomies, and a 24-hour waiting period for porn. That's right. All three are included in a new proposal called the Testicular Bill of Rights. 
Last week, state lawmakers approved controversial legislation banning abortion once a heartbeat has been detected. Now in Atlanta, Democrat is fighting back against the move she calls ridiculous. She's drafting her own bill targeting men's reproductive health. So this isn't really a bill. She's not really gonna actually pass this bill. Uh, I'm looking at Darshan. Yeah. I guess. Uh, Kendrick's idea comes after Georgia's House of Representatives passed a heartbeat bill on Thursday that would ban abortions after the sixth week, sixth week of pregnancy. Justin, the Georgia House of Representatives has passed an anti-abortion bill, loosely known as the heartbeat bill. It would make abortion illegal as soon as a doctor detects a heartbeat in a fetus. It would be one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country. In Atlanta, abortion providers aren't flashy, operating typically out of nondescript storefronts like this one on the edge of Brookhaven. It's not exactly a thriving industry. Providers open and close in Atlanta. There are about nine abortion clinics in the metro area. Georgia law now allows abortions up to the 20th week of pregnancy. The bill that passed the House Thursday would reduce that to about six weeks. Laura Simmons says women from as far as Mississippi travel to Atlanta abortion clinics, typically to take medication that terminates early stage pregnancies, as described in an online Planned Parenthood video. But the heartbeat bill has some other details, which would make some additional, not so subtle changes in state law. Here are three of them. The bill says an unborn child at any stage of development shall be included in state population. It also says an unborn child at any stage of development shall qualify as a dependent minor under the federal tax code. That means a possible tax deduction for newly pregnant parents. The bill also says that a woman can still legally have an abortion up to 20 weeks gestation if conception is the result of rape or incest. But in each case, the bill requires the pregnant woman to file an official police report alleging the offense of rape or incest in order to legally have the later term abortion. Now, I've also told you all this. The government doesn't need to be in this situation. Roe versus Wade basically put the government in your belly, women. They told that the government is now a part of your womb with you. You no longer can make a decision about your life without the government having a say-so in your state. See, this is why the government doesn't need to be involved in this. I've said this, but I'm, I'm the crazy one, I know. Uh, the bill now moves to the Republican-controlled Senate and has been su the support of Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, who called the bill a powerful moment to give all Georgians, including the unborn, a good chance to live, grow, and prosper. See, here, here's the problem with stuff like Roe versus Wade. This is the problem with it. Not that Roe versus Wade, you know, okay, women don't have rights. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when the government gets involved in stuff like this, you can't get them out. Now, the, now you got stuff like this. You can't have abortion after six weeks. That's what they're trying to push. Now, I mean, all over the United States, Virginia, New York, you have... Nate states making bills where you can have an abortion all the way up to the day of the child's uh, being born. Yeah, that's that's just ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. But this this is crazy. And now Darshan. Oh, how ridiculous it is that any state government should regulate what people do to their body. My brother, his her approach is to take away. To go to the extreme with men's reproductive rights. Kendrick acknowledged that a vasectomy requirements on or waiting times to buy sex toys are tongue-in-cheek responses, but argued her concern about House Bill 481 is serious. House Bill 481 is the heartbeat bill. For reasons including an increase in the number of women who would subject themselves to unsafe abortions, she emphasized that her overall goal is to reduce abortions. Currently, women in Georgia can receive abortions up to 20 weeks into a pregnancy. Georgia's bill limiting that time of six weeks passed the same day a similar fetal heartbeat bill cleared Tennessee's house. HB 41 sponsor Representative Ed Set Setzler called abortion a barbaric procedure 
and said under his proposal women who became pregnant still have options including taking a morning after pill you see what i'm saying so because you have one woman who wants who has her stance on abortion and the the state has their stance on abortion now you have the government all involved in this and this fool darshan with this very ridiculous man sounding name now darshan wants to present a bill that regulates men's reproductive organs in response not even to be not even really to do this but in response to this bill now what if the bill actually you know makes it all the way and goes to places and say it gets brought up again in five years and they end up presenting the bill and it ends up actually making it to the senate floor which may be democrat in five years who knows and they actually passed this bill darshan will you be happy then will you be happy then when your husband can't have sex with you on the fly without a condom because it's now sexual assault how will you men down there feel? Will this, will this, like I said with the gays, will this apply to them? So we'll, we'll just have a bunch of cases of gay men getting accused with sexual assault because they had sex with another gay man. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is stupid. This is stupid. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. I don't know what is going to happen here. Kendrick, who is now in her fifth house term. God damn it. You guys have let this person be in here for five terms? Jesus, Georgia. Come on. Missed, she missed the Georgia General Assembly deadline. Good. For filing legislation that can pass during the 2019-20 session last Thursday was a crossover day. And the last day of legislation to pass either the House or the Senate in order to be taken up by the other chamber this year. Good. She missed a date. She's a late, lazy fucking idiot. And even if Kendrick had filed it on time, such a bill would have such strong headwinds in the overwhelmingly conservative legislator. But it's a gambit to help to help sound the alarm on H. Bill 481 as it continues to progress into the Senate. On Twitter, of course, she called on citizens to attend the Senate's, the Senate's next hearing for the fetal heartbeat bill scheduled for Thursday afternoon so I'm sure no one will be there as she asked for them to pack the room no one will be there no one will care this article comes from CNN and it was written March 12th which means it already happened they already passed it I'm pretty sure we got footage of it and no one was there nobody cared you went to Twitter who were you talking to a bunch of 17 year olds 20 year olds with no jobs people who were posting food get the fuck out of here this message is in the comments section. <laughs> Random radio. Yeah, boy. You are listening to the Random Radio. 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 Random Radio.